Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you and ranking all the shoulder carrier bags that I have. So if you're interested, do keep on watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, do consider subscribing, click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. So I'm just gonna get right into it. So I have a couple of shoulder bags and what I mean by shoulder bags is that that is the only way you can carry the bag. I mean if you can hold it in the crook of your arm then yes. But it doesn't come with a cross body function, there's not much versatility in how you can carry the bag except on your shoulder. I feel like the shoulder bag trend kind of kickstarted a few years ago, I think during COVID, where it became really popular because there was a resurgence in the 90s era, like everyone was talking about the 90s, which I love because I'm a 90s baby myself, and it was so so fun to see all the old, um, what do you call it, the old fashion coming back into play, and I just love it. I feel like fashion is so cyclical, like things that are not fashionable came back, even those like you know, heart jelly charm. Thing. I mean, I'm not a fan of it, but it came back and there was like teddy bear gummy drop like charm necklace. I was like, what is that? Will people pay like, I don't know, like a thousand dollars for <laughs> for like a necklace like that? I'm not too sure, but I definitely won't, but it was cute. I have five shoulder bags to show you today from my collection and I'm going to rank them for you. I'm going to move from the least loved to the most loved. Uh, so let's just do that. And the first one being my Prada Terry Tote bag. So this is the Prada Terry re-edition bag. I believe this is the re-edition 2000 bag. And it comes in this like Terry material, I call it. And it's so, so fluffy. I think one great thing about this bag is I literally can just fold it like that. And it's no problem. <laughs> it still pops up. Or I can just fold it like that. And I, I don't really have to worry about this bag. It's so like squishy and... I love that it fits a lot of things inside as well. I believe I got this back in 2021. I can't remember which collection it was, uh, but it was launched and I got it. It's so, so adorable. And I love the fact that it's like black and white and I typically carry it on my shoulder like that. Or I'll just hold it like hand carry. This is very easy because the strap is quite wide. So it sits on your shoulder very nicely as well. And if can fit a whole ton of things. The only reason why it's at the last of my list is because I feel like, you know, I'm not sure whether I keep this bag forever. I love that this is like so fast free. I bring this out all the time but in terms of like looking at it and admiring it, maybe I have better bags to admire at. But yeah, I really love this bag as well. I feel like it's very, very functional, fits a lot of things. And I'm not very fussy about carrying this anywhere. Even in the rain, I will carry this bag. So this is my Prada re-edition bag. I love it, but unfortunately, it's the last of my least. However, I would say that I use this bag quite a lot, more so than some of the other bags in this list. But in terms of like how much I love it, this is at the end of it. I just realized that most of these bags are Prada. I feel like Prada does a lot of shoulder bags, so I'm just gonna go on. So this is my Prada Mini Clio in this lilac color. It's so, so pretty. This is the mini one. The thing about Prada bags is that they mainly come with like silver hardware and as most of you here know, I am typically not a silver hardware girl but I feel like this bag goes quite well with like silver hardware, yeah. And it's so pretty and you have a flap. You have a magnetic closure over here, you open the bag. I would be completely honest and say that you can't fit much into this bag but I will fit my keys, I will fit some cards. Maybe I won't even bring the card holder. I will take some cards out and I will slot it into this back pocket here. There is this back pocket and then like a main compartment. So I'll slot some of the cards inside here and then I'll carry my Bastia with my coins and cash. And yeah, that's about it I would say. Just for a very small, I don't need to carry so many things kind of bag. I think this is great. It also comes with a back pocket over here. I don't typically use this, but if there is a mask, I might place the mask inside here if I need to. And yeah, this is in the smooth calf leather and it's 
so far so good there are no scratches on it whatsoever so this is one of the bags that i got this year i don't think i reviewed this on this channel yet but it is in super good condition i actually got it at uh vlog sale or is it a vlog sale uh, if you call it so my friend has this rich friend and like she was trying to get rid of her wardrobe so she hired a space in like orchard to like get rid of stuff and we actually had to have an appointment to go in and this is the bag that i picked up and i picked it up for such a great deal i think i paid like 2k or less for this bag it's definitely less than half price uh so yes i decided to pick this up because i don't have a lilac bag in my collection so i think this will fit very nicely in my wardrobe as well moving on to the next bag i have the saddle bag from dior so this is a vintage saddle with the trotter print the blue and it has the yellow trimming on it and then at the back it has a back pocket as well with the silk the prettiest silk lining you can ever find because uh, for a very long time i was hunting for this bag if you have not seen my vintage bag collection i'm gonna link it up over here for you but i was hunting high and low for this bag because of this inner silk pattern lining which i was so so smitten with it even comes with a small cd zipper over here i'm not sure if you can see it but i really really adore it and yeah it's a typical saddle bag uh the only difference is that the vintage one comes with velcro so you <laughs> there's this velcro function it doesn't come with the magnetic function i don't typically carry this bag out so often i would admit to you but oh under the shoulder it has a ton of room like a ton of space to put it under your shoulder because essentially it's meant to be like a shoulder bag anyways and then you can just open the bag up like that and just grab your stuff and then just close it back up i feel like this bag is excellent just that i don't bring it out all the time which i really should so are you someone that matches your bags with your outfit or do you match your outfits with your bags so i'm definitely someone who matches bags with my outfits which is why i have quite a few bags so that i can choose from but i recently found out that my friend was saying that she matches her outfit with a bag like she chooses the bag that she wants to wear on the day itself and then she matches her outfit with it I, I don't know i feel like i'm the other way around so please share with me which version you are because i'm very very curious the next shoulder bag i have to show you is the prada clio bag this is in the regular size but this is the mother's day limited edition uh, bag that comes in this shiny pink and like silver jacket print all over it i really really adore this bag so much it's so pretty look at it again it's in like silver hardware and it has like a silver metallic strap to it which i quite enjoy like there was a yellow version which i was going to get at first because i saw melissa sudera having it <laughs> so i went to check it out uh, but i decided to go home with the pink one because i feel like at that point of time i didn't have like a lot of pink bags in my collection i really think that this goes so well with my outfits and i love it the, look at it it's so so pretty and so sparkly like there is the prada tag over here as well so pretty so this bag can definitely fit more than the prada mini clio because look at the in terms of like sizing wise so in terms of sizing wise it's much smaller i'm likely going to do like a review video reviewing these two sizes if you're interested so that's that yeah i definitely can fit more more things into this bag for sure but ultimately it's also a shoulder bag the shoulder carry is very substantial fits under your arm with a lot of room so i really really like this bag as well and then last but not least i feel like all of you already know what bag i'm going to feature it's none other than the celine ava bag this is like my go to grab and go like ride or die bag i love it so much for those of you who have not seen most of my videos i have been raving about this bag like crazy i love it i have done a review video on this bag i'm going to link it out over here and this bag fits a whole ton of things it's water resistant it is canvas scratch resistant everything about this bag i really really love so this is at the top of my list so we have this celine ava we have the prada clio bag we have the dior saddle we have the mini prada clio bag and we have the prada terry bag so these five are my 
uh, shoulder carry bags that I have in my collection. So I would totally rank them like that. But if you ask me which I use most often, definitely the Celine Ava. I also use the Prada Terry quite a bit. And recently, I've been consciously trying to use my Prada Clio more. So this one and this one. The one that I don't use quite so much is actually the Dior Saddle which is quite unfortunate like i should bring that out more often so yes i've come to the end of my video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.